Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today, I'm going to introduce you to an interesting ingredient. This is called bittermelon. I'm sure a lot of you have wondered what it is and how to cook it when you see it in the Asian grocery stores. So today, I'm going to share the easiest recipe that you can cook it. Stir fry bittermelon with garlic. The name pretty much explains how it's going to taste like. I am very tolerant and I enjoy bitter vegetables. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> Please tell me that I'm not the only one. Discard the end first. Cut it in half, then quarter it. The white inside part has a spongy texture. We want to remove it completely because it is the most bitter part. Here is a fun fact. If you leave the bitter melon to grow until the seeds are ripe, the spongy part will change to a bright red color and the texture becomes tender. My grandmom used to grow lots of bitter melon. I have tasted the ripe ones before and it is sweet like a fruit. Use a rounded measuring spoon to scrape the last bit of the white part. Make sure the edge of the spoon is sharp enough to work with. Once it is clean, you can cut it with a 45 degree angle into a third of an inch thick slices. Season it with one teaspoon of salt. Rub for a minute or two. The salt will draw out some moisture and reduce the bitter taste. Let it sit for 15 minutes. While waiting, you can prepare the red dried chilies. Cut them open with a pair of scissors. Remove the seeds. Using dried chilies will give the dish a slight smoky flavor. Based on that, I also like to add a few fresh red chilies. Roughly dice them. Press three cloves of garlic through a garlic presser. Actually, let me use two more and make it five cloves. Garlic is always good. Optionally, prepare one teaspoon of citron peppercorns. Now we can go back and check out the bitter melon. Squeeze out as much moisture as you can. Look how much liquid we got out. Discard that. We will rinse the bitter melon with cold running water several times. The cells will start absorbing some water and it will become crunchy again. Drain it, but doesn't need to be thoroughly. A little bit of excess water will make sure the garlic doesn't burn as fast when stir frying. Add 1 to 2 tablespoons of oil to the wok along with the citron peppercorns. Turn the heat to low. As the temperature climbs up slowly, the oil will be seasoned with the peppercorn flavor. Once you see the color is getting dark, you can take the peppercorns out and discard them. Turn the heat to medium, adding the bitter melon, fresh chilies, dried chilies, and the garlic. Stir for a couple of minutes. We did season the bitter melon with salt, but we also rinsed it. So we don't know how much sodium is left in there. You should give it a taste and then add the salt to adjust the flavor. I made this many times, so I know exactly that a little bit less than a teaspoon will be perfect for this recipe. Also, be generous with the salt amount, especially if you have never tried bitter melon before, because the salt will suppress a little bit of the bitter taste. Give it a final stir and you are done! You can serve this as a side dish. Just so you know, even though we have done everything we can to cut down the bitter element, it will still taste a little bit bitter, but in a pleasant way. I love the flavor. I can just eat all these with some white rice. The funny thing is, when I was a little kid, I refused to eat it. My parents always teach me by saying, 吃得苦中苦, 方为人上人, which means, only those who endure the most becomes the highest. Over time, I just learned how to enjoy it. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. If you taste it and you hate it, don't blame me, okay? <laughs> As always, 
Don't forget to check the description where you can find all the links, including the printable recipe, the related videos, the purchase link for special ingredients if you don't know where to buy them, or the wok that I have used in this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!